What's up guys? You are on the air and off the books with Beth Ann and Samantha. And today we have special guest Ben. What's your middle name? My middle name? <laughs> oh my God, I don't think he middle wants everybody to know his middle name. Ben Rutz. That's right, yeah. You got my last name. Also That's... known as Benjamin. Uh, no, no one calls me that. I'm also known <laughs> as uh, Digital Ben. We have to start yeah. over. <laughs> Okay, I call him Benjamin, but only sometimes. Yeah. But. He loves that, I'm sure. He does. So today, what are we going to be talking about, Ben? So today, we're going to be talking about the perfect reading situation. You know, you're sitting down with your book, maybe standing up. I don't know how you read. Standing up. Yeah, so we're going to go Who through. Does? I mean, because everyone has a a perfect, cozy way to be able to get immersed into their their you know, their world that they're going to be going into for the, for the reading experience, right? Maybe you're somebody that likes to could get cozy on the couch with a blanket. Maybe you're somebody that likes to read while you work out. Maybe, Maybe you're you somebody likes down to... like a bat. Yeah, yeah upside down? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know? Um, I'm sure that there is somebody that has turned a book upside down and read the entire book upside down just as a challenge. I'm sure like that Like the Guinness Book happened. of World Records. Maybe you like to canoe somewhere. and read. It canoe knows. and reading, yeah. white water rafting and yeah. reading. I don't know on a snow day that uh, that that canoeing would be you what never, I would you recommend. Just, but you just never listen. know. You never know. Yeah. Maybe you like to build snowman. Do some snow angels and read. And read at the same time. Snow angels and reading. Oh, build an igloo. Maybe there's a hat that can hold your book open for you while you're reading, but then you got to still turn the pages. So I don't know. That's very Doctor Seuss. I can just imagine the hands like turning the pages for you. Can you turn? Can you actually do an activity while you're reading, or is it like that absolutely is the, not? Yeah, reading is the entire. I don't know activity. what you would do. I mean, I watch TV and read. Well, people like. They like run or like walk like on a treadmill and read. That's to too that. much happening for me to focus. I used to do that a lot. But it's split. I mean, like because you don't, you're not actually using your legs while you're reading. Yeah, but they're like connected, True. man. They're legs in the brain. One's got to stop. Oh, no. Somehow your legs are connected to your eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, and they just go like woohoo woohoo, and when I'm so trying like, to focus. Is it just too much distraction? It's too much. Or like, like sometimes I listen to music and I can read and listen to music or like no. I'll be cooking and then like turning a page. No, I can't do that. I'll get distracted and I will like miss things that are happening. Hmm. I have to be sitting in one spot. So if you're book, reading, that is all you're doing. That's the only thing that I'm doing. Huh. Unless it's like, like on a computer and then like I'll read like a few pages and then I'll like do you a know, little typing. If I'm like reading at work because we're allowed to do that now. For the podcast. <laughs> Way to slip that in there. <laughs> and I'll have to like. Yeah, but you're not stop. really multitasking because you totally completely stop that right. to help someone. That, you're not ignoring true. people or like, okay, um, hold on. <laughs> excuse me, I need to finish this chapter. <laughs> just like just one second, I have five minutes left. How rude of you! It's to come getting up really in good. The, of the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go go down the list, go down the line, and let's um, let's talk about that perfect reading, you know, situation. situation. So, Beth Ann, starting with you, if you you, you're you're getting ready to read whatever book that you're reading right now, mm -hmm. the world is you know completely open to you. You can I can do whatever I want. You can do whatever you Anything. want. You can go okay. wherever you want. You can sit or stand or be wherever you want to be. Where okay. are is you this reading? Like a so real, this is, like, is this a realistic situation? Yeah. Or is this like a... If you so could, you want like, realistic or yeah. you want like let's the ideal both. situation? Yeah, yeah. Let's do okay. Let's do realistically like what, what your go-to is and then let's also do like in a perfect fantasy world. Okay, realistically, I have a billion people in my house. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> so realistically, I... <laughs> So I will either hide in my room on the floor next to my bed where nobody can see bed. me. <laughs> and sit on the floor with my bed against the dresser and try to get in like 10 minutes of reading. Mom. Or <laughs> Exactly. That it, ugh. But I have a lock on my door, so that works out. Um, or what I'll do is, is I will make a cup of coffee and it'll be like, 10.30 at night when everybody's supposed to be laid down, even though these gremlins never listen to me. Anyway, um, and I'll get my cup of coffee and I'll set it down, preferably decaf because decaf. 10.30 at night. And then I'll get a blanket. Fire is going. Sitting in my spot. Oh, you're TV fancy. is on. Okay. And then I will sit 
and try to tune everyone out. It doesn't work, but that is my ideal reading situation. Just sitting on my couch, in my corner on my couch, with a fire and a blanket and my coffee and my book. So you do actually have a like a like an actual fireplace. Oh yeah. Yeah. I picture you like cross legged on the floor with like a fire poker in one hand, poking at the fire. <laughs> reading <laughs> my book in one hand. Now how often do you hear this in the background? A lot. <laughs> the jingling in the door. It's Somebody's more like, trying to get in. Hey hey mom. Yep. Mom are you are you in can I come in, Mom? Is it okay if I come in, Mom? What what are you doing? Shouting under, like, the door, like, thing. Or, like, like a cat racing the paw under there. They do that, too, though. My cats are so needy, especially Boston. He wants to be with me all the time. But the most thing that I get is, Mom, wipe my butt! And then I'm like, okay, well, oh, yeah. we're done. Yeah, kids so, struggle. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, all right, well. She's what, 17? <laughs> <laughs> she is five. Five. Five going on 17, absolutely. But, yeah, unfortunately, that is my life. Oh, well, I should okay. read in the closet. You should. I should literally go, like, hide and disappear, leave Dakota to defend for himself. He would be mad. <laughs> and I, then sneak into the closet to to and go and Say read. you have to go to the bathroom and just make it, like, the longest bathroom trip ever and just be like... Dude. Okay, but sometimes I do read in the tub and I'm in there for way too long and they're just like, are you okay? Like, is everything all right in there? And I'm just like... Say nothing. <laughs> I'm Is having a mental right? breakdown. I'm taking a nap. I'm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so that's my like realistic situation when I read. Okay. So. What about you, Samantha? What is you know your go-to general reading situation for you? Mine is kind of similar, but okay. So if I were to go home and open up a book and be like, "It's time to read," okay. Yes. I've got two different situations happening, okay? Either I'm going to read in the bathtub for, like, 20 minutes because it gets too hot. Too too hot? hot. Well, okay. My bath water is, like, scalding hot, okay? It's got to be scalding hot. As it should be. But it, it, like, cools off over time. Yeah. No, because I keep, I, like, if it gets too cold, I'll turn the hot water back on and, uh-huh. like, to where, like, it's, like, actually, like, burning my entire body. <laughs> okay. And then I turn it off again. Do the same thing. And I just keep doing that and doing I that. I just add hot water. And then, like, my face will start <laughs> sweating and I don't like it and I'll have to get out. So. Oh, God. You can read, you read until read. you get sweaty face. <laughs> yes. Read until sweaty face. And yeah. then you get out. And then sometimes I'll keep reading. And but you know, do you read like actual books or do you use your Kindle? Both. How do you not drop them in the water? I've dropped several a book into the water. My son has also put books into the bathtub and turned on the water. We don't recommend that. Yes, especially not library books, which I have done several times. So sorry. Yeah, that's happened to me before as well. So um, and then like, if I'm like trying to read without my family just needing me i will go into my bedroom lock the door read on my bed have a little snacky with me and a little I love drink that you feel free enough to read on your bed i have to hide in a corner in my room <laughs> well i lock the door so they can't get in but fair like beth ann i hear jiggle 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 on the door then yeah like that. And that. then audio in there. My three year old will put his mouth underneath oh, the gap in the so door cute. and be like, Mommy <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, are you in there? Are you in there? What are you doing? He's so cute though. How can are you mad coming? at that? He'll he'll be like, Are you coming home? Are you coming <laughs> home? <laughs> Samuel is literally my favorite child. He really is. Oh, my gosh. He's and then, so like, sweet. he'll keep doing it. And I'll be like, what is Nolan doing out there? Like, and then I'll text him. I'll be like, hey, what are you doing? Like, get Samuel away from the door. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be like, oh, uh, Samuel, come on. I know. And they just call out. Like, it just yeah. kind of lure them to them. Yeah. And it, yeah. And then, and then like, he'll, I'll hear, I'll hear him. This is, like, an everyday thing. I'll hear him. And he'll be on the phone talking to somebody. I'll be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Just hang out. I love how both of these realistic situations, actually no reading is getting done. Yeah. yeah. There's like, okay, there's like 
Unless it's like nighttime, which I will read sometimes like that book that we just did for the podcast, What We Harvest. I did oh, like so start good. at eight o'clock PM. Everybody was asleep besides for Nolan, but he didn't he didn't bug me. He just plays his game. And I You read, read till like way early in the morning. Because we've got yeah. we finished it almost near the same time. So yeah, I guess I read like the, whole thing. the ideal realistic situation is to read alone. But the reality of it is is that for the podcast and things that we do I am laying down in bed with my light Yeah. at the end of the bed. Like, okay, Dakota's up there with his head up there, and I my head is down at the end of the bed. <laughs> and I am, like, reading with my light till, like, 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning to get yeah. things done. That is the literal real situation. Because yes. I don't have time. Or I'm running around the house cooking and cleaning, doing laundry, and listening to an audiobook on two speed. Like, that is the... Yeah. The, two speed? <laughs> I can't. I can't yeah. listen to audiobooks, so oh, I love I'm jealous books. of people. Especially I graphic audiobooks. I have recently gotten into those. Are you? Do you know about those? Is it like no. a play oh, or something yeah. like that? Like, like a full a, cast? Yeah. yeah, at the very beginning, they're like, yeah. graphic audio. A yeah. movie in your mind. <laughs> they just released. <laughs> That's fantastic. They just released the graphic audiobooks for A Court of Thorns and Roses, and I'm going to buy them. Oh, they really? Them. I wonder if we have them at the library. I would like to listen to that. I, I know we have quite a few graphic audiobooks. I seriously sure doubt it, but. That's what um, The Wizards of Once and then How to Train Your Dragon series is. They're graphic audiobooks. They're fantastic. So great. I mean, it's got those sound effects. Yeah. And oh, my gosh. It's literally like closing else. your eyes and listening to a movie. So it's great. It's great. Yeah. yeah, and they have like a whole like music playlist, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the like, I love when authors, like when they release a book and then they'll make like a list on Spotify of like songs that you should listen my to. My wife does that. With each chapter. Yeah. It's the coolest thing ever. My I wife usually finishes the book, and then she makes a playlist of, like, how she felt, like, going through the book. And yeah. it usually, like, the music, That's like, evolves over That's a podcast idea. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, I'll, 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 get, I'll, get, her, I'll get her on the podcast. <laughs> you should. <laughs> yes. Um, but, yes, that is my ideal reading situation. Usually, I only get, like, one or two chapters in. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. There's, There's no... There's no, There's no like peace. Five yeah. There's no peace. Yeah. Well, I don't have children, uh, and so yeah, it's nonstop peace. Uh, nonstop peace in, oh, no. uh, in my home, and I have three different uh, reading situations because. You know, there's three different types of, uh, you know, books that I enjoy. I mean, I've got, you know, the physical copy of the book, the um, the book, the ebook on Libby, and then, there, of course, there's the audio books as well. So, quickly, go through all of them. If I'm just a regular book, I'm just chilling out on the couch, or I'm in my, like, lazy boy chair in my living room. I'm, <laughs> lazy like, boy. like leaned, leaned all the way back, you know, like, feet feet up, sort of Like situation. a grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's no. the best. It I'm not best. even... But I'm you fall asleep? It. No. Okay. I could not. I would. Fall asleep like that. Um, but, yeah, I'll, I'll usually do that. And we have, like... Our, our home is pretty low light, which I vastly prefer uh, mm-hmm. because I don't know what it is, but over the last, like, decade, I've noticed that light We're light so bulbs, old. like, you turn them on and, like, these LEDs well, are, like, Well, you have blue eyes, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, like, what? blind you. Have blue you. Eyes? Bl- yeah. Okay, I do, too. And I You're, hate, like, looking I, at me as you ask. I'm blind. Like, yeah, I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> but I have You need to wear your glasses. And I hate sunlight. Like, if I it, if the world could be dark forever... Yeah, cloudy days are the best days. A1 steak sauce right there. Yeah. I don't want it to be dark. I just want it to be not, oh, no. I like, hate blinding. No, I'm like, with you. summer. Hate summer. Now, is is that a blue eyes thing? I thought it was just because I... I need to ask Dakota. I think it's a blue eyes thing. Okay. Because you're not... Su- technically, people with blue eyes are you know not what? supposed to go outside without sunglasses, ever. It must be, because Dakota will turn off every light in the house and walk around in the dark, and I'm, like, flipping and all the Nolan, lights on. Nolan and Nolan like, hates the dark. He'll open I hate all it too. Does he have brown eyes? He's got brown eyes. Recently, That's right. For my birthday, I asked my parents for Edison bulbs. Are you familiar with these? Yes. The school. Yeah. They're like low lights. Um, oh, I'm just, I'm so excited to install Perfection. Them. You know you're 32 when. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for Edison bulbs. Yeah, I know. I'm so excited about light bulbs for my birthday. What is this? But just like that low light, just because, I don't know. It's I just, just want light. I don't want it blinding, but I don't want to be in the dark. Yeah. Kaylee reads with um, 
Uh, she has in her library set up in like a really cozy setup. She has a pink light bulb that she mm. uses when she reads. That's cool. Like, pink light bulb. Yeah, I'm like, how do you see the pages? Well, I don't know. I, I haven't yeah. attempted it, so I don't really know. I feel like I would be like, I feel like I would like to read with like a black light. Like a black cool. light? Yeah. Yeah, like you're. With like all that like neon like jazz business? Yeah. And you don't like bright light, but you would like a like a black like light? a dark like black light. You know, like thinking yeah. about that makes me squint. <laughs> Not like strobes and like we're having a party. Type no, situation. I mean dubstep on in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Walking to Samantha's house. Samantha's reading again. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, so recliner. Okay, yeah. So that's my normal book setup. Okay. But so like. The the way that uh, my wife and I our bedroom setup is is that the the bedroom door is you know on one side of the room our bed is turned ninety degrees from our door and so I sleep on the far side of the room and my wife sleeps closest to the door okay hmm. um, and so if I get up out of bed we have an old home it like the floor creaks. You know, the roof leaks. There's a terrible draft. No. Which is that from? <laughs> I was like, that's from something. It's SpongeBob. Anyway. Oh. Uh, yeah, so you, <laughs> I was like, your roof is leaking. No, 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 oh, my no, no, God. No, no. But the floor does creak. <laughs> so, like, I can't get up out of bed without waking my wife. And I tend to wake up a lot earlier because uh, I've always been early riser. And so I'll wake up at, like, 7 a.m., you know, on a weekend. And I know that she's going to be out for hours. And so I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to disturb her. And so got the ebook situation on my phone. And so I'll be scrolling in bed. You reading. Know, reading yeah. it that way. That way, because you got to have activities. you got to have something to do. got to have activities. You're going to be stuck in this place because you don't want to disturb the one you love uh, and, w- and <laughs> wake them. a horrible person. I have to. I'm like, okay, it's time slam for the day. Door, Walking out. Door. like No way, man. Hard heels on the ground, like yeah. doing coffee, turning over dishes. Dakota's yeah. passed out. Well, I, I, you know. Going. You're so kind. Hey, I just, I don't I don't want to disturb her. She needs her rest, you know. Don't let the code so. listen to this or he's going to have expectations. <laughs> 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 I have to get up. I can't, I can't stay there. Nolan lets yeah. me sleep in on Sundays. That's sweet. Because we're both home together. So he'll like get up with Samuel at like 645 and he'll let me sleep until like nine. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> just once a week though. Just once a week. Yeah, but I don't ever get to sleep in. So that's nice. That's the um, only day. Now, when you listen to audiobooks, I mean, I don't know if you're like me, but when I'm listening to audiobooks, I cannot just sit and listen to an I audiobook. Have to be doing I, I gotta be doing something. But else. that's the point for me for an audiobook is that I can get everything else done and then still get things in. Yeah. So I um yeah, and it doesn't even really matter what the activity is, you know, as long as it's yeah. not something that requires a lot of intense focus. But yeah. I mean like doing the dishes, mowing the grass. I mean not this time of year. Shoveling, I guess. yeah, mowing the snow, mowing the snow, yeah, driving, um, or like you know, playing a video game or something. But yeah, I'll have something. one on in the morning when the kids are getting. I'm in the car with the kids, getting them dropped off at the bus, and then um, like I'll listen to it when I'm milling about the house because Hayden will sleep till eleven if I let her. So she's like passed out in the bedroom. I'm I yelling need, at Bruce. I need listening Samuel to, an audio to like book. do that. I, I'm gonna but she give stays him to you up until like. Him. The butt crack of the evening, you know what I mean? Like, she's just, like, all the way into the morning light and then wants to sleep all day. And then I just want to yeah. scream my head off. So, he goes to bed at, what, 7? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hayden doesn't go to bed. I force her to lay her head down at 10. And she will yap me into 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> hey, Mom, uh, ask me a question. Hey, Mom, what <laughs> what are these things or why... Or tell me stuff, Mom. Tell me stuff. She Kids says all the time. Tell they? me stuff. And I'm like, she goes, <laughs> she's so cute. I'm so sad that she's going to be a child. She's not even a toddler anymore. She's a kid. Ah, <laughs> uh, here come the mom tears. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she has this thing where, like, if somebody's talking in a different language, she calls it Spinglish. <laughs> and it just touches my soul. And she's just like, Mom, tell me some Spinglish words. <laughs> So I'll have to, like, go through and, like, she'll, like, tell, say, Mom, how do you say purse in Spinglish? How do you Spinglish. say glasses in Spinglish? And then she just, like, goes through all this whole, like, words in her head and tries to, like, learn all these different things. And, like, or, like, Mom, turn your light on and let's do, like, 
puppets. And I'm like, <laughs> Dad is sleeping. <laughs> Slay down. Like, stop. She's so sweet. Mm. I love her. It's so sad that she's getting so big. Sad. But at the same time, I don't want another child. Same. I mean. I do, but I don't. It would be weird if she she just was five forever. I know, but there's just this. It's so unexplainable. Like a cartoon. <laughs> True. It's just so unexplainable because, like, every moment is, like, I don't know, like, you lose and you gain at the same time. Sure. And so yeah, I wish so... Samuel was a baby still. And Hayden wasn't a baby for very long. So, like, she was walking at eight months. I didn't get yeah. to, like, hold her and cuddle her and, like, baby, baby her. She was so independent from the get-go. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just so sad because, like, my little girl is, like, really five going on 17. Cue the tears. I know. It's so sad. And then she wants to be read to at night as well. Hey, that's so great. So we're doing that. Yeah. And, like, it's just. Yeah, Samuel can't go to sleep without a book. Yeah. The other day I was reading him the Avengers, like, storybook. And it now, was. Do you do voices for the characters? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay, can I can I hear some of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm ready for that Captain, question. You know, Captain America. <laughs> no. I can do this all day. <laughs> Pretty much like that. That's my secret. I'm always angry. <laughs> We're just yeah. gonna like be the at best one is the Hulk. <laughs> so no, he'll he'll ask for that book, and then it's just a little too long. So the other night he was like, "Mommy, this book's too long. I want to go to bed now." <laughs> I was like, "Great, <laughs> let's go." That's funny. He's so See cute. Ya. <laughs> Hayden's into chapter books right now, and we're reading Bad Guys, the series. Bad Guys. And it is so hilarious. Oh, my gosh. I think we're on chapter five, and it's, like, about zombie kittens taking over the world. <laughs> and it's about this shark. He, he's one of the bad guys, and he's scared of spiders, and a spider is on their team. And he's like, freaks out, and I relate so heavily to that. And, like, it's so good. It is so good. You have to read that. It is on, I think it's downstairs in... Like regular copies, it's yeah. a movie now, and we have it on Libby. All yeah. the whole series for free. So, I can't wait to read like Magic Tree House and the Boxcar Children. Hayden doesn't really <clears throat> like it so much. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because it's I say so old, but it's not really that old. <laughs> yeah, but it's just I not for her those. generation, I guess. I don't know. Well, okay. So continuing the conversation about like that that reading setup. So you say that both of your kids enjoy being read to in yes. bed at night. So what is their typical setup? Are they, they engaged? Are they set set up? Are they like cozy underneath the covers? <laughs> we're like all cuddled up in a big ball and I'm like holding the book and we're reading. Like she has to be held. She's a very cuddly kid. And we just read until she falls asleep and then I dump her. Okay. And yeah. you don't wake her whenever you get out of bed? No, no. Oh, you read to her till she falls asleep? Mm-hmm. Dang, you're dedicated. Well, I, how she, she's going to talk to me all night if I don't <laughs> read to her. That's fair. But she sleeps with you. She does. And I just shut Samuel in his room and I'm like, let's go. Woo. But he falls yeah. asleep really fast. So no. she's She is wanting to start sleeping in her own bed, so that's going to transition here when we get the that's older cool. kids moved in. Do either of so. your kids have a cool race car bed? I always wanted one when I was a kid. Yes. Samuel has the Batmobile. Oh, that is amazing. <laughs> He's about to get rid of it, though. No. I know. He's about to get a big boy bed. We're going to just get him, like, a like a full-size bed because I was going to get him a twin. I was like, well, this you is already a well. twin, and he's might be six foot five like my brother, so might as well just go for the large bed. So have have, have either of you seen the show Severance? No. no. There's a point in the show where this guy who's kind of, like, you, you kind of make fun of him, um, but he <laughs> is, the, like... He's about to have a kid, and in the bedroom where the kid is going to sleep, there are many beds. And the main character is like, why are there so many beds in here? And he was like, well, because, like, apparently, according to this guy, I doubt that this is a real thing. According to this guy, it's traumatic for a child to switch beds um, and to, like, have to give up their childhood bed for a big person bed. And so they have all of the beds in the room Uh. (laughs) so that they can... Whenever they're ready, choose whenever they get to go. I would not doubt people parent like that. But no, I'd I don't like, remember having trauma that I got. I was excited. Yeah. Like, whoa, a new bed. Like I begged for, like, a queen-size bed forever. I had a water bed when I was a kid. 
So did I. You did? Yes. I don't think that's a thing anymore. Is it's that? not. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you can buy one, but like, why? <laughs> Mine definitely leaked. I don't know about you, but I would wake up in the night and so I would be bad. like, I am soaking wet. And I'm like, is it me? Or is it, <laughs> <laughs> is it me or is it water? <laughs> like, when you get on, it makes him. He just doesn't want to say. Like, you literally are doing this when you lay down. Yeah, I didn't. You I move and you just roll. It. My friends yeah. had water beds and I was like, no, this is the worst thing I've ever I want to know who came up with it. I don't know. I loved it. I thought it was super cool. I mean, it was interesting, but it was so, like, nausea-inducing, like, to me. Yeah. You would think it would, like, stink. What? Why? No. Just the water. Yeah, but the water well, is it's, I mean, it's a really thick, heavy, like, yeah, plastic bag that you sleep on. It like, would get, like, moldy. It would have had to. I don't know about emptying it out. My dad did that. I never paid attention to that part. Cause it yeah, how do you empty stagnant. it? stagnant. You, you have don't. to... I mean, the goal is to keep it full yeah. forever. What do you do? Throw it out the window and let it drain? Well, dad had to roll it out the door and so, do it in the yard. Well, so we had one of those. Uh, but then I got a second waterbed. And then it came in, like, little tubes. And so, like, yeah. every individual... Like there was instead of it being like one giant yeah, balloon, sack. basically mm-hmm. it was just a bunch of little ones. Huh. And so when one burst, you would just replace that. Wouldn't one. you like jiggle through the night though? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> it literally is like being literally on like, on, the on the water. See, I have to have like a firm bed. Like I Ugh. can't do like memory foam. I feel so claustrophobic. It like makes me. Cringe. I want to sink into the abyss. No. I don't want to be on the floor sleeping. It's like, like concrete. firm, but like soft. Not like you're sleeping on the floor, but like a firm, like pillow top. No. Yeah. It's how, it's how it's gotta be. How it's gotta be. It's how it's gotta be. Yes. And then Nolan's side looks like like the largest dip ever. I don't know why. He like because he doesn't move. He just lays in one spot. Well, he'll like sit. He'll like sit up in the bed, but like I don't understand because I do the same thing, but my side's like completely flat. But his, he like must just sit. Do you really flop hard. around at night? No. Do you know if you fly uh, around at night? <laughs> no, I don't move. I just lay. I mean, I can <laughs> confirm that that's not true just because you showed me a video that you're okay. Oh, yeah, sitting so straight I up, talking to <laughs> I, like, talk in my sleep and I scratch my arms. That's about the extent <laughs> of that. But he'll, like, I don't know. He puts, like, the largest indents in the bed. And I'm like, how, how do you do this? Like, hmm. I don't know, man. Okay. So where, what's next? What's <laughs> we your have a tangent. ideal like fantasy like situation? Like doesn't have to be realistic, but best case scenario, yeah. you're reading a book. Where are you? I'm in the woods. Okay. In a hammock, hanging from a tree. Uh, oh, okay, in the hammock. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just upside down from a tree branch? With a pillow and a blanket, with my book, lantern situation, no bugs, anywhere. Any bugs? No. None. Fire. That's how, that's how you can tell. Is Tent. Fantasy. What about wolves? <laughs> I don't care. Okay. I just don't want bugs. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> wolves, bears, tigers, I don't care. I oh don't want... <laughs> I don't want bugs. If there was a situation where I could live where there wasn't a bug to be found, it would be fantastic. And that's my ideal reading situation. Okay. Or like, I don't know. I just want to be in a hammock. Okay. I don't care if it's in my backyard. Hanging you don't hear this in the background? Around. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <sighs> That's my ideal situation. All right, what about you, Samantha? Okay. I'm, I'm torn, okay? There's like two. Two. That I would really enjoy. Okay. First one. Okay, picture this, okay. I'm in a castle. Okay. <laughs> you, can rent, you can rent castles. You can. Yeah. I'm in a castle, probably, like, surrounded by, like, streams, water, woods, like, that sort of situation. And, like, I'm just by myself in this castle. Like, there's there's nobody else in this castle with me. I'm sitting in my window seat, you know. Okay. A view of the entire land that I am the princess this of. This is very you. And I am reading... And butterflies are flying around me, and Oof, birds are God. <laughs> chirping. Um, but it's kind of dark out, okay? There's no sun. There's no sun in this land, okay? Just this weird glow. Yeah, like a, like a midnight glow. Like this glow. twilight situation. Yes. 
Not the book. Literal Twilight. Yes. <laughs> um, but I'm not a human, okay? I'm like a, I'm like a, like a fairy creature. That's my ideal situation. Man, but I then, went like, really easy. You're like not even human anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just want like, solitude, and you just. <laughs> Okay, but my second one, I would also be in the woods. I would okay. not be in a hammock because I have a fear of getting stuck in hammocks, okay? Hammocks are the best thing ever created. Or, like, tipping over in a hammock. That would be terrible, too. Um, okay, so I'm in the woods. There's streams happening. I've got, like, a picnic going on. Hmm. I'm, like, there's, like, leaves all over, okay, because it's fall. The best season. True. Got my book. Got my, like, coffee. Got my snacks. Gotta have snacks. How are you sitting? On the ground? Yeah, I'm just, like, you know, on, like, a, a blankie. Oh, my back. Okay. All right. Okay. And I'm just reading the book, and I'm, I'm hearing the stream sounds, like, the... The reality is, in my situation, is I'd probably be taking a nap after five minutes. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm not mad about That's this. Was, also, no bugs. Yes, no bugs. No because bugs, bugs are Ugh. nasty. Yeah. No bugs and no But like, only scary. butterflies for yes, you. Yes, butterflies are acceptable. Okay, but how many is too many butterflies? I would You're say... You're in the woods and there's 500 butterflies. Oh. <laughs> as long as they're not touching me. Oh, why? <laughs> as long as nothing lands on me. Dude, they have I'm these fine. pictures of the monarch, like, migrations. They're so pretty. And people are, like, standing in the middle of them and, like, tears come to my eyes. And it's so beautiful. Yeah, but so... butterflies aren't going to bite you. They look like literal maniacs flying at you. They're pretty. No, I know, but I can't handle it. I have a butterfly collection what? of dead butterflies. They're like, okay, so I used to collect butterflies that were dead. Like the pretty ones, you know? Oh, and you pin them up. And I pin them. Yeah. In like a, like a shadow box. I love their wings. I don't want to see their bodies. Yeah, that's fair. Well, the, the like the background is like black velvet, so you can't really see like. The oh, I cannot even think about it. Like, dude, I I'm the person who had a mental breakdown. I'm not telling you that. I Go don't ahead. know. If that's, I don't know if that's morbid, <laughs> I'm not but telling you that. the butterflies were already dead, so I did not kill them. Oh, well, I mean, people collect all kinds of stuff. I've heard people collect bones of things. That oh they yeah. Find. That's no true. Does that. Somebody was like, oh, I found this skull out in the oh, yeah. whatever. I'm like, yeah, you know, you do you. Whatever. We have a, we live on a farm, so we, like, obviously, like, eat animals, okay? So. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> so we have, you know, the really furry, like, Scottish Highland cows, like, the brown, like, red hair. Shaggy. Shaggy cows. Mm-hmm. So they have, like, these really beautiful, like, giant horns. So, like, we had, like, the skulls, and we, like, bleached them, and we have them hung up. And they're so pretty. So pretty. Love them. I mean, don't do that if you're, like, a vegetarian, because that would be terrible. But, you know, these meat eaters, they, they like to hang their, their skulls. stuff their on, skulls the wall. on the walls. <laughs> or, like, deer skulls that we find in the woods. That'd be cool. My dad and... Them, we'll like bleach them and like keep them. They're pretty. I wouldn't hang a skull in my house, but teach their own. So my perfect reading situation, um, I let's see. I would like to be at a pool. Oh, yeah. I didn't wow. even think about the water. I'm not uh, going in to this pool. I'm just nearby. Um, it is at a resort sort of situation, uh, but there's n- not like people there. It's not crowded, right? So it's just you. Why and aren't pool you going into the pool? Because I want to just be nearby. I like the sound of water, but um, you don't want to be in it. I don't want to be in it while I'm reading. Okay. Okay. Valid. Um, so I'm with you on the snacks front, uh, okay. and so I want all of the food. You know, I want um, I want burgers, I want fries, I want, you know, uh, all kinds of finger food options. Like a Chicken charcuterie tenders. food board. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, all, f- I mean, fried and gross. Just, right. you know, American <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, the, the finger like food. Like, the American cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> Jalapeno poppers. 
all that so stuff. So good. Now, in this perfect scenario, the lighting is perfect. It's not too bright outside, but not too dark. But mm-hmm. it's also, um, I'm not alone. Um, I actually have someone who is holding the book for me. <laughs> so I don't actually have to hold it myself. Okay. He's yeah. bougie. Um, yes, I'm very bougie. Okay. Um, but also, like, I, I got to say, the my least favorite thing about reading books is turning the pages. Um, what? Uh, it's it's because of the like the lighting situation oh. like you know if the lighting is only really good on the right side of me then either I have to turn myself so That's, that it yeah. is behind me or only I really get good lighting on one of the two pages uh, and so huh. I'm like uh, you know like they, so like the, they make this mount for your like Kindle or like your iPad or whatever and it like you connect it to your bed and it like sits like in the air, and you have a remote, and you press it. Yes! <laughs> that's what you okay, need. Okay, that's need so that. much. I love it. <laughs> okay, but, like, you could just sit there and, like... Why is that, like, walking in on that, Okay, though? but then you can have your snacks in one hand and, like, your drink in the other, and you could just... You don't have to, like, commit to, like, reaching up and swiping. What is... What... What... <laughs> First world things. I swear it. Yeah. Like wow. <laughs> hey, this is my this is my perfect. Okay, fair enough. Fair situation. enough. Situation. And look, so you want like waiters and waitresses? Yeah, I just want to be waited on. I mean, who doesn't? Pampered. I want to be pampered while I enjoy a book, but that I don't have to hold Fans my hands with like a leaf. No, I, I don't. I, I don't need to degrade anybody. I I just I I want to enjoy. Anyone. it. I just need I just need food, and I just need to not have to turn the pages myself. Because in this hypothetical situation, my fingers are going to be like you know all up in these foods and snacks. Stuff. I don't want to get things yeah, like, like that. Uh, that's like I like to snack, but at the same time, like I like for my books to be pristine. So oh. I don't want to touch the pages That's, yeah, while I'm I get that. snacking. And it's this, like, never-ending tug-of-war of, That like, brings up an important question. And okay. that is what Kaylee can get you for Christmas. Is what? The, the mount, Kindle the mount set up. <laughs> Perfect. Christmas, Kaylee, if you're listening. We already have the, the idea for you. And then you don't have to get out of bed. Yeah. You can let her sleep. And then you can yeah. just, like, click your button. And then you don't have to turn the pages. Yeah. yeah. There you You're go. welcome. You don't have to hold it. You don't have to, like, hurt your arm to, like, hold it, you know? Well, I don't think that in this hypothetical scenario that it's going to work for my bed situation. Because I'm still going to have to set it up. I'm not going to sleep with it up. You can. It just, you push it back. What? Yeah, you just push it it's back. Like is, it, retractable is it like a silent arm, light? Right? Like, it's like, okay, look, okay. You guys keep talking. I'm going to pull this up. Like, is it, like, if it's a si- I I just don't want to disturb my wife, so I want to be as quiet No, no, no. You I think you just do this. I don't want, like, a... Uh, I don't think it's going to do that. See? It oh, just mounts, okay. and it's bendy. Mm. And you can put it Mel- wherever Mounts to my bed frame or, like, or whatever. This one, see? It's like a little arm, and you just... Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. See, I wasn't lying. Okay. True. Th- this could this could work. This yeah. could work. Ben's life is about to be changed. It is about to be. My yeah. dreams come true. That's hilarious. You're welcome. Oh. You know, the things Just people come through. up with. Okay, so then, you guys don't like your books to be, but Dirty? you dog ear pages. So how dare you? I don't do that anymore. I have okay. a bookmark. Okay. Yeah, that is like chaotic evil level. Yeah, uh, a thousand But percent. you like your books to be worn and like I lo- okay. bendy. And- I would never buy a hardback if I could help it. But you will always buy a hardback. I will buy a hardback every if time. If it's like a special edition to like display or if the cover is just like really pretty and I want to display it. But the worst is like reading it and having to take off the cover the and then jacket, having like yeah. the... Like, the residue from the hardcover, like, be all over your hands. I will forever, 100,000%, always want a regular paperback copy of a book. To read, yes. See, I actually always. prefer reading uh, hardback books. Really? Um, yeah. I, I don't like the bendiness of the, uh, the- of, of, of that. I Like I said, I want for everything to just be, like, like it has never been touched. Yeah, that's how I am. And you really? like to bend your books I all I bend them back. back, and I, like... Because it's like, like okay, that this my is my... Thought process is like I'm reading this and taking it into myself. It's becoming a part of me. But right? you're essentially dog earing the whole book. No, no, <laughs> no. 
it's, it's like living with me. It's like been used and loved and it's yeah. become a part of my life. And you can see that it's been, you know, adored in a way. I don't rip the edges off and crinkle the crap out of no, the pages. No, you just fold it. But you fold the whole thing. All yeah, the all the way around the spine. But then the spine gets creased. But it looks so stunning because you're just like, look at the, the look progress. At look, at, look at what I've went through up until this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like... And then, like, a, a one that you've read over and over and over again, and you've, like, I don't poured really yourself read. into this book, and, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, so here's the, see, here's something that you guys will probably think is weird. I never use a bookmark. What do you, you, do, what do, you, you do? Do you set it, like, no. Do you dog your page? No, I don't dog your page. I don't see, I don't leave it do open. Do you write it down? No, don't write that? it down. I memorize mm-hmm. where I've stopped. Oh, what? no, I wouldn't remember. Do you yeah. read one book at a time? I do too, but I still can't remember. I couldn't remember either. That's true. If you read multiple books, there's no way that I would be able to memorize that. I but I always five. I write it on my hands. I don't sometimes. have interruptions. If I'm reading, that's my activity, and I always stop at the end of a chapter, and I'm like, oh, I'm on chapter twenty or whatever it is, you know. But then and you have to flip through and find that chapter yeah, every time. I, and I'm happy. I'm happy about that. It makes me reevaluate the progress I've made. And I'm like, oh, look at this. Look how far I've come. You yeah, know? but that's when you close the book and look at the top, and then you're like, hmm, and you set it down. No, I like, I like the journey of uh, reopening the book and finding my page again. That makes me miserable. I hate, there's one thing that I hate. I know, I'm, I'm weird in that way. <laughs> is when you're, like, reading, like, on your, like, Kindle app, if you have, like, the Kindle app, if you're reading on the computer and then you read on your device and they don't sync. Oh. Ooh, and then it ooh. takes you to some random page that you and used to be like, on. And then you're tagging. reading and you're like, this sounds very familiar. And then you got to go find where the the, spot. you've stopped. Yeah. yeah. That makes me irritable, too. Or if you're listening to an audiobook and I forgot where you were, and so you have to, like, skip. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or, like, I'm reading, and then I go to the audiobook, and then I have to, like, figure, figure out, out how to was. fast forward through all of these yeah. things. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. That's interesting. But, yeah, I do prefer A. I do. I don't know. I've, o- overall, altogether, I prefer ebooks because, you know, I mean, it remembers where I was, mm-hmm. where I left off. I don't have to Sometimes. worry yeah. about the book not being pristine anymore. And I do love, and it's just this, like, progress part of my brain, seeing the percentage at the bottom of, like, how much I have left to go. Like, the, the go like, oh, 27% complete. I'm like, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming along. Yeah, I do, I do <laughs> like that, too. Are you yeah. a slow, like, reader? Are you a detailed reader? Like, you have to read every single word. Um, I skip around. So I, I've i gotten a lot better, and I think I've realized that fast readers don't read every word. Yeah. Um, They're skimmers. I, yeah, I usually look, and it's like, oh, they're describing the room. Skip that paragraph. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, I do that. I think of it as, like, you know how people used to write in shorthand, like, when they take notes, and then they have, like, this system that they use to, like, mm-hmm. take notes just to find the basic of what's being lectured, and then they yes. take that back and study it out. Yeah. That's like how you read. You yeah. take in all of the massive points, and then everything else just kind of falls away, and then yeah. you and get there's through these, it. Like, there's these readers that I'll like see on like TikTok, and they'll like make all these like connections and like theories like about these books because yeah. they like they they're in such depth. detailed readers yeah. that like. I don't even remember this happening. Or like, I don't even remember this. Day. <laughs> Who the, was that? The shoe was black, and somehow they connected this with, like, a whole nother series written by the same author, and they're like, I bet this is this person in this book. And I'm just like, whoa. Well, the issue for me is that, like, I know I'm not going to remember these details anyway. And right. so, like, it could say, like, oh, this person is five foot ten, and they look in this way. They wear these clothes, and ultimately... After they describe it that one time, they don't continue to describe the appearance of that right. person again. I'm going to forget about that. And the way that they look in my mind is same. not going to be that way. Yeah, same. I do do that. But I'm a very detailed reader. That's why I'm, That's another reason why I'm very slow. Because yeah. I have to go back. Like, if I, like, find myself skimming, I go back and reread the whole paragraph. Because I'm just like, oh, God, I don't know what's happening. I think the only time I go back and reread is if, like, I sometimes I have, like, where I'll, like, read a sentence and it won't make sense, like, grammatically because I'll be, like, reading it, like, wrong 
you know, like if there's like a comma, I'll be like reading this. Or you're adding like, a word that's not actually. There. Yeah, and yeah, I'll just yeah. be like, I'll read it several times, and I'll just be like, this isn't making sense, and then I have to like slowly read every single word, and then I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. What is a word that you see in a book that, um, or or a phrase that you see in a book that's like no one would actually say that, but you see it, it written often. Uh, I've been on this uh, Brandon Sanderson kick uh, for a while now, <laughs> and so he, I, I see the word pocketed all the time, and I'm like, oh. no one says that. <laughs> he, yeah. he pocketed it. <laughs> that is interesting. Like, some of that is definitely like, is that like an older terminology? What would you say then? No, I don't know. I, I mean, it's it's descriptive words that like, you know, that that you see in books often, but like in actual casual conversation, no one would say. He pocketed it. Uh, that's, that. like, a huge thing in romance books, which I'm not going to say any of that, but the yeah. way they describe the things is just, like, literally nobody, nobody talks, talks like, talks like this. <laughs> and it's so gross and cringy, and you're just like this. <laughs> oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, romance books, that has, like, I feel like 50% I think of romance books, they're just trying to those be... kind of descriptions. What's the word? I think they're just trying to be. You gotta have that thesaurus ready to go whenever you're uh, writing. This book. <laughs> I'll read it and I'll be like, "What does this even mean?" <laughs> <laughs> you know. Or that's new. <laughs> like, yeah, Ooh. never heard of somebody doing that before. <laughs> but that's. I, I don't know if they're just trying to be like more conscientious or something. I don't know, though. Or they're just trying to be super creative because it's just the same all the time. Yeah. yeah. And they're trying to be, like, diverse and brand new and, like, oh, look at this innovative way that I said this. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of, like, a just, like, a phrase that I, like, see all the time or, like, a word in books that I'm just, like, why? Like, that's odd. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to. I'll. I'll notice it now. I've yeah, noticed, I will too. Yeah. It, yes. It, I mean, anytime somebody says they pocketed it, you're gonna be yeah. like, oh, oh hmm, mm, interesting. Yeah. You read well, these Anderson I know lately? you're reading Mistborn, and it pops up a bunch in there. So I yeah. honestly don't remember them saying it. Well, you, but I will now. You, you're gonna notice it now. <laughs> I'm gonna see every single time. Okay, there was a book that I read. It was Light Lark, and like I loved the book, and this was like the most scandalous book on TikTok. Like, not, like, weirdly scandalous, but, like, there was drama happening. A lot of controversy over the book. Right. The author in particular. So, it was, like, the way, the controversy was, like, the way that she wrote the book was, like, they said that her descriptions were bad. I thought the book was great. Like, I love the book. But there was this one phrase that she used several times throughout the book that every time I read it, I was, like, that's disgusting. It was like, she described the sun as, it was a yolky thing. <laughs> a and I was yolky like, thing? I was like, let's, <laughs> let's rewrite the book and not put that in there. A yolky <laughs> thing. Yeah, and she would like. Oh, God. That's the so The description would say, it was a yolky thing. Um, and then it would say, a blank thing. So it would say like the word thing twice, like as a double description. So it'd be like, it was a yolky thing, a shiny thing. <laughs> that, okay, that's People super awful. Yeah. Was, but it was, like, used at least in, like, every other chapter. Like, the same It was used enough for it to impact you. Yeah, and I was like, healthy. okay, this is such a good book with such a good plot. Why? Are we saying yolk? <laughs> Why? Like, Why? <laughs> Describe the sun as anything other than yolky. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else would have been fine. I don't like Anything. it. It's like moist. I don't like uh, it. Uh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but that word is a meme at this point. I yeah, mean, that's means, true. Like, oh, it's so terrible because everyone says that it's it terrible. It's terrible, yeah. Because it is terrible. Because it's just the way that your mouth moves when you say it. It's awful. It's the oy. The, yeah. <laughs> all right. Sounds goopy. So in closing <laughs> here, I think that we should all be on the lookout for when people say pocketed. Uh, yeah. In in books, and you know, be mindful of the the, the perfect <laughs> uh, you know cozy situation for reading. Yeah. Um, you know, if if you're somebody who likes to bother people while they're reading, and you, you know, maybe trauma. Be, don't, maybe, don't be that way. Maybe yeah, don't <laughs> don't 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 do the door jiggle situation. If your you know? mom is reading, just Give let her, her read. Time. Just let her read. Give yeah. her time. Um, if your wife is reading, don't watch your kid. 
Yeah, watch your child. <laughs> don't interrupt. Don't be asking her to like do something hey, for babe, you. What are we eating? Yeah, what's for, <laughs> what's for dinner at like eight a.m. Oh, <laughs> Nolan. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. no. <laughs> so just. Just be the best person that you can be, and if, let people read. Yeah, let people read, or yeah. let people sleep. Honestly, yeah. like if they're if they're sleeping, yeah. also that don't wake them up. I'll try to do better, Ben. Get a, get a new <laughs> book on Libby. You know, clean the house for him. That would be great too. <laughs> All these subtle, not so subtle hints. Uh, do the dishes. <laughs> Live your best life, guys. Yes. Uh, yes. To wrap that up, live your best life. Read books. Find your perfect reading situation. Come to the library. Check things out. Yes. And I don't hear drop read. books in the tub. Yes. Don't do that. Because you will have to pay for them. <laughs> Trust us, we know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ben, for joining us Thanks again. Thanks for having me. He's been on a couple episodes. He's the greatest. Always willing to join. Snaps. And oh. we will see you for our next episode where we are going to be, I think that we're going to be talking to L.A. Marty. <gasps> are we? Yeah. Dude, that's coming up so fast. I'm scared. New York Times bestseller. Um, she wrote... Uh, Some Shall Break, None Shall Some Sleep. Some Shall Break and None Shall Sleep. Mm-hmm. And we are excited to have her on. So we will see you guys next time for that. Bye. Bye.